Hi, everybody, Hello. and welcome to the Hucolo Saturday Workshop with Jim Charles. It is uh, Saturday the 23rd, the alignment day of the century, uh, 2017. And in the room, I just I have to see who, I'm, who I've got. I've got Stephanie Shear, Salish, Marlene, JD, Jim, of course, Ian. Uh, we have Max, we have Douglas, Don, David, Christine, April, Angie, Amazing, and Amanda. Amanda, excuse me, Amanda. Amazing Amanda, but there's two different people. Jim, who do you have in your room? I have Angie and Barbara and Erica and uh, oh. Will and Ray. All right, hi everybody. Um, just just before we get started, uh, there's an announcement. Uh, Human Colony is announcing officially their second get together. Uh, it's going to take place in Sedona. It'll be the Human Colony Sedona workshop, and you can read all about it on humancolony.org uh, forward slash workshop. It will be five fifty per person for five nights, starting February the fifth. Excuse me, starting February the first. That includes housing. Uh, there's a limit of 24 people, so if you want to, you need to sign up as soon as possible. So you can go on humancolony.org. Yes. Do you have any announcements, Jim? Uh, not at the moment. Everything's okay. good. Good. I'm just feeling a lot of really good energy right now. So. Yeah, I'm it's exciting fast. energy today. Yeah. What? It's exciting energy today. Yes, it is. It feels very good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, not alive uh, up and uh, today. We'll never experience this again. What we're experiencing today, so right. This has special. happened thousands of years, from what yeah. I know. It's only for you immortals. Maybe will you experience it again? Yeah. Uh, and Max, do you have anything that you want to say? Max, is he still there? No, I think he's he's gone already. Okay. But just for everyone uh, that's watching, this is a webinar with uh, Human Colony. If you would like to uh, become a member of Human Colony, go to humancolony.org. We have a paid subscription series where you have access to all of our classes and then some of our special webinars that Jim does every week are, are mostly paid webinars. So only you can only be in the room if you have a subscription, um, which guarantees you the ability to answer a question. And uh, for the rest, yeah. McCalling is a great uh, place to be and lots of lovely people. So, Excellent. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> so right. how should we start today then? Uh, with a blessing, of course. All right. Perfect. Who wants to give a blessing? Me. Oh, Angie. I thought Barb wanted Barbara to give one. Uh, and Barb. Angie and Barb in the room want to give blessings. Okay. And anybody in the, in the Google room? Okay. Yep. Who's that? Yeah, I do one too. Oh, Will wants to do one too. So okay, we'll leave it in your room then. My room is full of blessings. But I go okay, ask. well. Okay. okay, then Angie, Barb, and Will, go ahead. Go. I can't see anything. Asutu ania a nesia a ia iena. Ia tani ia ia iena tatu ia a ia ia ia. O ka awai ania a ia kato wai ane ia te. Ia ia ana a ia wa a ki ane a. Ia ana ia 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 ka awan ia ia ia. Ia sani ia ia yo wa wa ni a ta. Ia zana du a yo wa a ia nani. Ia sini ni a ia kato wa a ia ni. A ia ni yo wa a ia kato wa. Ia shi shi wa ni a ti wa a ia a ia. Open up your hearts for the things that will come. You must be sensitive to the spirit at this time so that you know which way to go and that your guidance is sure. Let the light be part of who you are and do not be afraid to be standing tall or moving forward. You will know in your heart what is the right way to move because God is guiding. Let him be your direction and your compass. Thank you. Thank you. 
from those of us who are not humanoid, we still wish greatness upon you. We see that you are struggling at this time on your planet, but know that God will prevail because he always does in these times of great need. Make sure that you are turning your eyes to him so that he may look into them. Okay, thank you. Is there one more? Will. Yes. The great alignment is here to fulfill and not to destroy. But you may know that in your heart that some will not look at it in negative ways. But do not fear. All things that will come from it will eventually turn into the positivity that it was meant to be. Remember, your heart are part of the guidance of the energies that are here. And make sure that your energy goes out in a positive way to greet all the energies around you. Thank you, what a nice blessing. Okay, so do you wanna take requests or do you know who's coming today? Well, I know Elijah is coming for a little bit, okay, but awesome. we can take requests. Okay, in your room? Any requests anywhere? The, the praying mantises or the mantis people. Okay. Uh, Yeshua was also another one. Okay. In in the else? in the Google room. <laughs> in the Google room. Raoul or Sagaya. Sagaya. It's going to be this quiet. No, Raoul, the elder right of Sagaya. Raoul, yes. Okay. Raoul, the elder of Sagaya. Okay. Takur, I'm seeing in the uh, YouTube live chat for any Takur. updates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Buddha, uh, someone else says. Buddha. Buddha. Good choice for today, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Anyone I know. else? Yeah. Yep. So the name is Nahi. I have no idea who it is. Nahi. 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 All right. But I never made uh, dream loads. Who? Dream loads. Okay, dream loads. Dream lords, he said. Lord. And oh, then, dream lords. Okay. Yeah, I also see someone from the Ashtar Command, Grindel, Jesus. Yeah, I guess yes. just any you know any super avatar being would be too, would be a good one. <laughs> Gaia and Gaia. Someone oh, suggests Gaia. Gaia. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pleiadians. Oh, Pleiadians. All of them? There's, no, <laughs> there's the blues and the greens and the silvers. Okay, we can, that's that's good for now. <laughs> and we'll see who comes through because they're all taking a number. Okay. Standing in line. All right, we're here. Yes. All righty then. Um, and I will see you. With, Later, I'm going to do a little meditation and bring through Elijah first and then whoever comes after that. Okay, thank you. I have no idea what Elijah is going to say, but I know that he's not going to talk about the alignment because I asked him <laughs> five times. And he said no. Perfect. Okay. Oh, very good.
Greetings, I am Elijah. Welcome, Elijah. And how is everyone today? And I'm hoping you are feeling a positive energy. Yes. It is good. Today I want to speak to you briefly about technology. And the reason why I want to do this is because it is interesting how technology is affecting all of your lives. Be careful because now technology takes on a life of its own in some ways. Remember that with the help of many of the species out there and with the advancement of technology within your governments and within your population, they are now able to listen to you, see you, and understand you if they want to. So, I'm not saying to change your life in any way with technology or television or anything of this nature, but I want you to resonate with that which you are using and viewing. Because there may be messages coming just to you because you know about the things of the outer worlds, the things of spirit the things of fourth dimension, and they may be just sending it through a fourth dimensional channel to find who you are. Now, if you feel this kind of resonation, please put down that particular piece of technology and do some praying about what that is about. At this time, control is a huge issue. Your governments, not just those of the United States or Europe or Russia, but governments all over your planet want to know what people are doing that know about communications with the astral, communications with the alien species that are around, communications with fourth dimensional anomalies and ships. So you know that you are probably in their, uh, on their radar, so to speak. So feel that resonation that, to know when is the right time to speak and when is the right not time to s abstain from certain technologies. Now that is not a frightening thought. It is actually one of great power for you. Because, to tell you the truth, since they know who you are, you, they consider you someone of some power, some control, some interest of some sort. And they're not going to harm you, but they're going to listen to everything that you say and watch things that you do, as, as you may know. And... Sometimes there are signals in your television sets that can actually see you as you're watching your television. Now, do not be frightened of that unless you're sitting in your underwear. But even that they don't care about. But I will tell you this. They want to know any interactions that you have with aliens, with those that are not part of the earth. Now, that does not seem to be a great spiritual message today, but it is a message that God wants you to know about because God is on your side. God loves each and every one of you, and he loves that you're aware, but he wants you to be even more aware of him than he is than you are of the aliens that are around you or the governments that are around you because he is your strength he is the one that will help you stand up against unfairness and un, uh, things that are not correct injustice he is the one that will guide your path and he is the one that will keep you safe so even though I tell you these things, and I'm saying this not to alarm you, but just to make you aware. 
And some of you are not alarmed at all. You're going, I think I already knew that. Some of you are saying, I knew that more than a year ago, or more than two years ago, or more than that even. But I just want you to know God is on your side and will take care of you no matter what. Now, there are things coming that may seem unpleasant to the world and even to you, but they are necessary to wake people up, to put them in place, to make them aware of their missions, that they have actual fourth dimensional outlooks within them, that they have fourth dimensional energy that is waking them up. So now, this is the time of great change. And I told Jim that I would not speak about the alignment today because the alignment speaks for itself in many ways. And it's been advertised and information is available about it in many, many different places. All you have to do is seek and you will find. So therefore, I do not have to go into all that. You are already aware of it. You are already informed. And so I don't have to go into that information. But yet I'll spend this time with you speaking about things that you need to know and understand. My first thought was to let you know about the technology that is there and that is looking at you and listening to you. But my second thought is to let you know about God, who is also aware of you, watching you, and listening to you. Unlike technology and unlike governments, he is not there to spy, but to help and to encourage and make you stronger and braver and bring you to your fruition, if you will, bring you into a thought process where you can accept your future and accept what is coming next. Of course, it looks as though there are many signs and wonders and earthquakes in diverse places and things of this nature that would speak of the end times. But the end times are not the end. They are the beginning times of newness, of freshness. Of course, there were some things that will pass away, but they need to go. They are not necessary anymore. This negativity is not necessary anymore. These certain things are not necessary for a a wonderful life on this planet anymore. So things will change. Purge. It will be purged. Your lives as God purges your life. And your outlook. Does not that outlook move into the world and start to purge it in some way? Are you not the instruments of this change are you not the people who are more aware of it than anyone else allow yourself to be who you are allow yourself to be strong in the identity of change and fearless moving forward you are protected now some of you may pass in a great cataclysm, but if, if that happens, you are meant to pass. Your time will be over, and perhaps your life will mean a great deal to someone, and your experience and your example will live on. Do not be afraid of these things. It is not a time for fear. It's a time for courage, a time for change. And yes, there are times for our Savior to come back. Remember that. 
it is time for him to speak. I know God wants a greater relationship with each of you in some way. He wants you to know that between you and him, there is nothing that can block that relationship, except perhaps yourself. But he is open for it. He is open to speak directly to you. And I know that that is taught on your planet that he just doesn't do that. That it has never been, that he has only done that a few times in history. But why should it be that God cannot speak to you directly? Why should it be that he would hold his voice away from you? He does not want to. It is time to hear his voice. It is time to hear his direction. It is time for him to use all the things around you to lift you up. To lift you up. Now, I know, I get preachy. I'm sorry about that. But it is who I am. <laughs> so I will say that to you in great love. It is time for you to be lifted up and hear the voice of God. Listen for it. There are many of, the, of you out there that are falling to pieces that will hear this message. That you are falling to pieces because you just, the energies are just too strong or you can't keep it together. You will be whole. You will come together. You will understand that God is going to do this to you to bring you into the understanding that when you come back together from falling apart, that you are stronger and more resolute than ever. Bring yourself back together with God's help. You don't have to do it alone. There may be people all around you shooting you down or bringing their energy to you that you do not want. But that does not mean you must accept it. That does not mean that this is your future. That does not mean that they are there to destroy you. Even though they may be, they are not there to destroy you because they will not. Believe that God believes in you. Believe that God believes in you because he does. He believes in your mission. He believes in your person. He believes that you can do what he has asked you to do. And some of you say, he hasn't asked me to do anything. I'm here and I don't feel that he's asked me to do a single thing. Guess what? You may be doing it and not even knowing it. If you believe in God and that you believe that he is the creator of all things, the knower of all things, the understander of all things, then you may be being used and not even know. Your example may be the brightest light in the neighborhood. Your light may be shining in places that is making people look and be more aware of who they are and want to be more like that light they see instead of filled with the negativity of everything around them, with society's answer to every question that is not quite true, with the grayness. They want the light to cut through that, and it does. With the karma of this planet, 
let it cut through. Let God cut through that gray. Let God cut through all those things that are not quite right. Let it happen. Don't be afraid. Stand up. If they try to shoot you down, are you going to accept that? If you know that you are right, how can you sit back down? How can you sit down when you know you should be standing? Are there any questions? Yes, uh, Sheer has a question. Sheer. Hello, Elijah. How are you? I am wonderful. Um, I want to ask, we had the different celestial events like the blood moon, the energy cloud, now the alignment. Is there anything to come in next uh, month or years that we should be aware of? Of course there is. I mean, but make yourself aware through spirituality, not through what other people say or even what I say, because every event to come from now on will be personalized. It is part of who you are to find the energies that are coming and to make them part of yourself or to reject them if you should. Right now is a time of great energetic input, impulse. You're getting energies from the sun. You're getting energies from Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. You're getting energies from the center of the galaxy. You're getting energies from Mother Earth. All these energies you can deal with in a way that is most beautiful. And for fourth dimensional people, they will deal with these energies in the proper ways. Um, also, today I actually felt very wonderful. The past uh, two weeks were kind of rough sometimes, like you feel a certain pressure. I, was, I know that it, it because of the alignment. I was just wondering now that it's going to return to this alignment, is it going to be another two weeks of discomfort or is it going to be different? That is up to you. You must feel and accept the positive energies and not the negative ones. This alignment is like the spine of the universe at this moment. It's giving upright stance to some ideas, some meanings, some beauty and some prophecy. Okay, thank you very, very much, and happy Rosh Hashanah. Happy Rosh Hashanah. Thank you. Did anyone else have any questions maybe in your room? It is not important that people have any questions at this okay. time. Okay, perfect. Because mm. I know that they are they're at a loss at some point to know what I am saying directly. But it will sink in and it will be part of who they are. I know this. Well, thank you for that sharing because it's an amazing energetic time at the moment. And Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And it is a very positive time for all of you who have great missions. It is a, a jump-off point. Some of your missions have already started. But some of them, of you are saying, I, I don't know if I have one, but you do. You may be holding light in this, on, for this planet. You may be holding light for the whole solar system. But some things are not meant to be known quite yet. So hang in there. Continue to love unconditionally, which is the most difficult things human can do. You, many of you get angry easily. Remember, turn, remember not to get that angry because they are children of God, just as you are. And the reason that you are getting angry is to show that you need some 
more light and you need to shed that at least part of it righteous indignation is one thing but just getting mad over social and political things is not necessary you can stand strong and not be upset when you are in the right many times you get upset because they are hitting the nail on the head with you they are pointing out something within you that needs to change you are identifying with someone else's emotions that you need to change think about that but they yelled first oh yes and that's within you too so you need to yell back so is it them or you is it them or is it you are they pushing your buttons intentionally or are you giving them exactly what they want are you breaking down communications or are you reinforcing them once anger starts and communications are like this they break down in the in the course of anger because they become selfish you're only saying your part they are only saying their part listening is not really part of it you are only just defending your own point of view you're not listening to their point of view any longer Remember that. Anger is one of the issues that so many humans have trouble with because of how difficult and harsh this reality is. But remember, return love for evil. It will confound them. It will absolutely yes. confound them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. If it's time for me to go, there are others that want to speak. Um, there is one question from in the chat from um, Hak Newman Solskan, Solsan, very nice name, very hard. He says, I'm doing my mission in Southeast Asia in the, uh, and would like to know if there's an important message for me. Thanks, Sam, he said. Yes, Sam, that is a difficult place to be doing your mission. That's a place where there is a lot of people that have a lot of very strong opinions. It's a place where it's hard to break through without unconditional love. And my suggestion to you is to remain unconditionally open and loving. Listen more than you speak. And when you speak, speak directly with love to that particular question or that particular comment you must let them know that love is the center of the universe the center of all things and without that love and without the unconditional portion of it your mission becomes even more difficult but I see, Sam, that you are doing a wonderful job and you will move forward. And your, the light is on your path. Continue to draw strength and stand up strong and courageously for what you believe is right. Shed all those things within you that you know do not serve you. I'm not saying to give up your fun times or goodnesses or things that calm you down or any of that. I'm just saying that there are th things within you that do not serve you. Give those things up. Anything that tends to relax you or make you happy, you must keep. <laughs> it is a harsh reality. And I love you dearly. Move forward. Be strong, and I give you my blessing. 
Thank you. Thank you, Elijah. Is there any other questions in the room? I'm leaving now. There is okay. another that wants to come, and I will let them through. Thank you very much. Much Thank love you to you all, and may God be with you. Call on him every moment. You can say thank you and praise him and bring the things to you that you need for your mission by thanking every moment, talking every moment to God. You do not have to be in a meditative state to be with God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste to you. Much love. I have come briefly to speak to you. Greetings, and whom are we speaking with? My name is Raul. Greetings, Raul. Thank you. I want to acknowledge that your people are starting to change, that the thought processes here on this world will give way to new life in the future. But many things must happen before then. And I am an elder from my planet, and I speak to one of your own here, and I will tell you that the missions of your peoples will continue. Rise up. There are many planets many species that will want to help you, but cannot. They can only pray for you and only send you their energy because they cannot interfere with the way that you do things. So help yourselves. Your governments are in conflict, even with themselves. So be unified, each and every one of you, with what is right and what is good. It does not matter what political view that you may have, because it doesn't matter. What will happen will be for the betterment of humanity, no matter if it is who you've chosen or who you've not chosen as a leader. These things will happen no matter what. Are there any questions in the room, please? I've only come to just state that there are many ships coming this direction, and I pray that you will be able to see them. Thank you. Uh, is, do you have time for one question, please? Is there a question? There's two questions, actually, um, but we'll go first with Dawn and then with David. Thank you. Dawn. Greetings, Raoun. This is Dawn. Greetings, Dawn. I Dawn would... is the human I speak to on occasion. Thank you. I'm very happy that everything went well at Sagaya. May Sagaya I ask... is great in five. Thank you. And her restoration is proceeding yes there is much restoration happening at this time thank you I will pass the questions on to someone else if they wish to ask a question now thank you thank you David go ahead hello Greetings. I uh, just wanted to reach out just in case you might have had the ability to help me i've been in pain for 24 hours from a tooth 
and just wanted to see if there was something that you could do to help with the pain or if you knew someone that had expertise that could help with this situation that's haven't had any sleep. I see. Let me let me speak to you in the way that you might understand. There are some reasons sometimes for pain, and there are reasons why people remove pain. I can help you to remove this pain. What meaning would it have for you? Hmm. What lesson would it teach you to have the pain removed? Uh, to take care, take better care of, of myself. Is that a lesson that you have not learned over the years? Mm, it's been quite rough for the quite few years, so it's it's been uh, up and down and challenging. Now, when you have this kind of pain, who do you call on? For this one, there's Dennis. But it's the weekend, and I reached out, and it's difficult right now. What about your spiritual leaders? God, Jesus. Do you call on them for help? I did, yes. And do you believe that they can help you? No. I want to believe. I, I believe see. to some degree. I don't not, not believe. I see. Because I see that there is some doubt because you asked more than one person. Mm. Yes. Remember this. Your faith must be strong. Your, for your mission, God does not want you to feel pain, and God does not want you to be in any kind of distress. So therefore, call on him to help you with this. If you call on others, they may be able to relieve the pain temporarily, but he wants you to learn to call on him. You seem to have many different pains and problems, but you do not always call on the right people for these, the right actions. So he wants you to learn to call on him so that he may work with you personally. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. You are welcome. And your pain will get less, if you believe it will. Use your belief system in a positive way. Okay. And you will also rest. I did this with this young gentlemen, to teach all of you that you have a God and a healer. It is not always the aliens that are those that are to heal you, but you must stand up and ask your God to help you as well. I have only come to reinforce that the energies today are of a great power and a great beauty. I see them lifting many people up today. It is like a great fire was started with these energies. Let them burn within you. Many have been suffering in the past, but let this flame burn today and waken something new. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is a question uh, in the chat from uh, Victor. He's in Peru and he is asking uh, if he's fifth density. On third density, you only can be truly third density, but you reach into higher densities as you 
as you are aware of the other dimensions. You were born into third density, but you may reach into higher densities and become higher densities once you arrive. But when you come back to Earth, you are back to third density. Now, let me explain something else. There are those of you that are trying to move into the next density from this one. That will be granted as you move and your missions are no longer viable, or if they are completely finished. You may not move to the next dimension in the middle of a mission. You may not move to the next dimension when you're working on your third dimensional ideas and formal missions. So if you are trying to do so, your mission must be complete. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very well. Much love to you all. Much love and thank you for coming. And there is another to come. Great, thank you. Teacher, we are of the mantis beings. Greetings and welcome. We speak many times to you, but you do not listen always. Thank you for hearing us now. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us, even though we don't listen. There are many times when we see that you need help, but we cannot help the way we wish to, only by sending energies. And prayers as they would appear to you. It is difficult to speak, but we want to let you know that we are part of your alliance. The alliance of planets and alliance of your galactic governments recognize us as well. So there is no fear for us to be here. We would like to take questions so that you may understand us better. Okay. Is there any questions in the room, of Jim's room? There is a question here. Come forward. Thank you. Hi, it's Barbara. I don't have such a question, but I want to see if I can answer you back in your language, because I feel that I can't. Yeah, quick. This is, you're saying, that you welcome us and understand that we are positive beings. Yes, yes I can understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, there's a question in our chat uh, that says, do you know anything about the blue mirrors and whether the dark ones have left? The blue mirrors. I am not always familiar with human tech technology and verbiage our thoughts of mirrors are reflective glasses okay. we are not part of that technology with 
mirrors. But let me check with my people. The dark ones are still there, but they are being removed soon. All right. Um, there is another question uh, about from Jess, and she wants to know what is her connection to your race? If it's a him, I apologize. Dick. You had a lifetime or more than one in the mantis species, but it was in the fourth galaxy from here, Andromeda. Okay. Also one in six galaxies away as somewhat mantis being in the galaxy of Enzupia. Okay, thank you. Um, in, in our chat, Christine is asking, um, she wants to know if when uh, our flies are covering her horse's face, can she ask them to move away? You may have control over the insects of your planet, if you wish. We see that many of you do not like insects. We are not considered low insect species. But yes, command them to leave and they shall obey because they will feel the energies that are in control. Okay. Control. <laughs> Uh, there's a question uh, in the chat from Influit432 Music is the name, and uh, this person wants to know what are your connections with Arcturus? Arcturus? Yes. We are aware of Arcturus and the many species that lie within that region. What is your specific question? The question was, was some species in that region, and we are allies. We have not been at war with any species ever. OK. All right. Um, then there's a question from Don, please. Don. Greetings. Blessings. Blessings. I have a question in that I invited all of my ships of the Star Nations to come to the Earth tomorrow for the yes. event. I would like to know if they will all be visible to everyone around the world tomorrow. This is a good question. There will be those that will be able to see the ships because they have strong energies in that direction. I believe you call it fourth and fifth dimensional energies. There will be those because they do not believe will not be able to see them. But many people will notice them. They will notice them in different ways according to their perception of fourth dimensional energy shifting. Does this make sense to you? Yes, it does. As the fourth and fifth dimensional energies shift, they will be able to see and then not see. There will be some like yourself that may see them plainly for long periods of time. 
not all will be like this. I understand. But it will be a success for you in many ways. Many Thank ways. You. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a question about, uh, is, is that sound in your room or? We hear what some sound? Killing. No, that, sorry, that's mine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Um, there's, Christine would like to clarify that she would like to know if it's possible that your group intercede with the flies and ask them to stay off the horses. <laughs> we can send some energy to you. Thank you. Feel this energy because that is the energy you will use to speak to insect beings. All right. Thank you. Um, there's a question, I don't know if it's for you or not, if you can answer it, but there, there's someone in the chat that would like to know uh, whether, uh, Linda wants to know, she says, can you tell me whether or not I am Archangel Ariel working with Archangel Uriel? I cannot know these things. Angels are not part of our realm as part of yours. Right. So I cannot recognize spirits that are not familiar with me. Perfect. Not that we do not know of them, and they are good spirits, but it is I am not the right person to ask. Okay. Thank you. Uh, sh type your question, Shaman, please. And there's another question coming through, if you will. I have a question because we have uh, mantis beings here on our planet, but they're very small. They're insects, we consider them. How much intelligence do they have, and are they aware of you as beings? They are in the early part of their evolution, and so they are not aware of us yet. Okay. But they will evolve and become intelligent beings, but it will be millennia from now. But we will continue our species through them. Okay. Um, as, they, as they evolve, will they grow in size or will they stay uh, their current size? As time goes by, they will increase in size because of the different energies that are coming into play on your planet, but they will not be as large as we are. Perhaps only two or three feet tall. That's tall enough. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a question from uh, Shanman in the chat saying, is a ship called Athena above me? Athena. There is a ship named Athena around your planet. Yes. Okay. And then the next uh, question is uh, from Infuit. Uh, says, a week ago at night, I saw a big flash of light across the sky and then looked to the right and saw the entire sky bright as stars for a second. Do you have any messages about this? There are... Um many beings visiting your atmosphere at this time. You will, many of you, see their ships and understand that they are not from your place. 
your place. So yes, there are many species visiting and that would be one of them. Okay. Um, Pete is asking a question. He said, I was at the zoo and I saw a Komodo dragon and felt a connection and I was telepathically communicating with the lizard and I did it, as I did it, it came towards me. Who was I connected to? There are species that are connected to your animal realm. Let me explain. There are some alien species that would rather inhabit, inhabit animals rather than other humans or be noted as being alien. So they will come into the animals so that they may communicate with humans at times. It is rare, but more of humans speak to animals than they will let on. The dragon was a a very handsome specimen to this particular reptilian who inhabited it. Mm. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, there is a question from Slava. Uh, Slava says that there, it seems that there are many aspects of insectoids who have different point of views on Earth. Perhaps uh, well, I, I missed the question. Let me start over. Excuse me. He wrote three different things. So let me start. He said, hello, um, mantis be beings. Can you please tell what kind of relationships are you interested in with humans on Earth? At this time, we're not interested in relationships, but mm -hmm. more interested in sending energy and prayer to you. Our relationship would be separate from outside your world. So I understand that there is a relationship, but it is not a personal one. It is more species to species. Okay. But can you explain species to species as, as far as species more than... to species? We are talking to you as a planet and not as individuals. Thank you. We understand. And also, um, Slava says, uh, it seems there are many different aspects of insectoids who have different points of view of Earth. Perhaps you can introduce yourself for those who don't know you at this moment. Does he mean name-wise. I believe so, yes. I am from the house of Kirchner. My personal name matters not unless you are in the house of Kirchner. But what matters is you know where my family and lineage is. He, he would like to know in general as a civilization, where, where are you from and who are you? We are from KR15. Your scientists will know where that is. Okay. Um, Amanda has a question. Um, can you ask it, Amanda, yourself or not? No. Okay, okay. Um, uh, someone, Marlene asks, excuse me, we're having some tr trouble. Uh, Marlene asks, are you involved in earth technology? Um, we just had a discussion with Elijah about technology. And if so, um, how and when does it start? Our technology is far different than yours, since we evolved far differently than the way you did. 
we had telepathy far before you did because that is how we evolved sensitivity to vibration and sound and motion is more intrinsic to our technology than to yours so we do not even have to touch or move to be able to control it we just send vibrations of a certain kind which you cannot possibly do so our technology is no use to you in some ways except for to be motion detected <laughs> okay all right um there's a question from cami in the chat that says um oh well marlene has a follow-up and she says uh when did this begin For, and when I, did it did begin that what? we could what i don't know marlene when did it what began she wants to know in what technology when did what begin well, i will in ask her together <laughs> she'll type the question our technology began centuries ago but what is she referring to i don't know let's i'll give her a chance to uh clarify her question more clearly and Omran, if you can also clarify your question, then we can ask that in a second. And then there's a question in the chat from Cami, just while they're clarifying. Um, she wants to know, uh, or she says, there are reports of mantis beings being present at the abduction of humans. Can you comment? They are not from our species of mantis. I do not believe that we have any rogue mantis people doing such things on your planet. Perhaps another species of mantis people are also around your world. If so, we wish to meet them. Okay. Um, Marlene's question, going back to what she had asked about technology, she said her question related to if your group, your uh, society, or was related to um, setting up of Earth technology, and when, and if so, when did that start, or when did that begin? We did work with. Lemurians and Atlanteans at one point, but we're not able to work with the Egyptians or the Mayans. So at least on this timeline or this uh, uh, dimension, you didn't work with the humans that are here now. You, you're not directly involved with Earth technology in this um, in no, this only okay. the Atlanteans and the Morians were advanced enough to understand our technology. Okay, okay. Technology. Um, Amanda has a question. Well, Marlena is wanting to know if there's any technology from Lemuria and Atlanteans that is today being used. I don't think so, but maybe there is. When Atlantis was destroyed, they came back and collected all metals and technology that was left behind that was still working and even those things that were considered metal garbage they brought up to their ships so that nothing could be found of their technologies 
the Lemurians were not quite as careful in their areas, but left behind some evidences of our technologies. But you have not yet found them. They're deep under the water, under the bottom of the ocean. Okay, and um, then Marlene would like to know what species of mantid, was it your specific race that was involved with Lemuria and Atlantis? Yes, we were. There was also another species of mantis from several galaxies away that we were allies with, but we have not been in touch for centuries. Okay. And then uh, Omran has a question um, asking if um, you, you mantoid beings, your, your race, uh, do you work with the creator gods in the universe? Not directly. We know of them. Of course, we can sense sentient energy patterns such as greater beings because they are different from other patterns. However, interaction between the species creator and mantis is difficult because we cannot understand their fullness. They are far more advanced than we are, and they choose not to interfere with our cultures very often but they do help us at times when needed so on the on the feeling and things that have to do with emotion is, is that something that's not really existent within your culture are you more logistical and scientific in your approach, thought, and way of living? Feelings are part of our culture because it is necessary to be tangible. But you are talking emotions, and emotions we do have but only when necessary, they help to relieve certain physical anomalies that we may have. Emotion will help us to release pain and anguish and deep sorrows, if you call them that. That is an emotion, I believe. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, there is a question, a uh, follow-up with Marlene that says, uh, is the underwater technology, is your underwater technology being used by water species, dolphins, whales, or anyone on our planet, I think is what she's, she's really hoping there's something from your, your, your technology left over. And there is some, you know of the group called the Clares under the Pacific Ocean, which is a gray and reptilian hybrid. We have some technology in their civilization. Civilization. There is some understanding of dolphins with their trinary language that does touch on understanding mantis languages as well so they have understandings and can possibly develop technology from us okay thank you very They're much not interacting with your species technologically 
at this time, but as I mentioned earlier, Lemuria has left behind some of our technology, which is under the ocean. Perfect. Thank you. But and we will not plan to collect it. It is not enough. Okay. Um, Angie has a question for you. Angie. Angie, are you there? She sometimes says trouble Hello. she comes. I'm there. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Um, I just wanted to know if you uh, knew of a being named Kin. Um, I, we are trying to bring him into channel. If there's any updates from him. Kin. Yes. Oh, there is one called Kin who is in your United Kingdom. Oh. Is this the one? He's a blue being, um, probably more from Essasani. Yes, Chikani Essasani, we know yeah. of that. Katsiasa, yes. yes. Is there any updates from him? Please. He is fine, but away from his norm, he is will return at the proper time. Awesome. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. And Amanda has a question. Amanda? Hello. Can I be heard? Yes. Okay, great. I just wanted to say thank you very much for finally coming forward. I've been wishing for you guys to make an appearance for quite some time. My question is, what is your greatest wish for humanity to be aware of at this time? Acceptance. We know that your planet is going through many changes. We are not usually accepted by parts of your population when we appear. We have restrained ourselves from coming to your planet for many years now. Other species similar to us have come, but we understand that we want pure dialogue and pure understanding before we make our contacts. We are now talking species to species, but we would like to speak one on one when the time I am calm. <laughs> Some adjustments need made in the communicator. How should we greet you when we do meet you one on one? With hand signals or with our voice or? I must research the answer because your ways of communication and greeting are far different from our protocols. 
we usually just speak our introductions. But they are usually telepathic. And the sound of the movement of our arms in certain ways is also a form of communication which you cannot duplicate. Well, we'll do our best, I guess. Communicate. Mm. Are there any other questions? The high frequency is harmful to us. Yes, whose who's mic is doing that? Amanda, please mute your mic. We apologize for the frequency. It is not intentional. We understand. Thank you. Um, Amanda would just like to say uh, thank you for coming and um, it would be nice if you would agree to come more often. Um, Ava has a question. Um, yes. Hi, and... Uh... Oh. This is my speaker. Okay, you need to type your question, please. Well, okay. Okay, sorry. Um, if she'll type her question, I'll read it for her. <laughs> I suggest, Ava, for the future, you just get some earbuds, <laughs> use those, so we don't have the feedback. We we apologize again. It is. Are you able to stay right with now. us? It yes? is all right now. Okay, all thank you. Now. All right now. Dave, if you have your question, you can type it. <laughs> okay. Ava wanted to uh, know, did she have any connection to you? She feels very fascinated by you. Maybe that's why her speakers were singing out. Connections to her. There is from past experience life. She was not in sectoid, but there was a time when she was ambassador to insectoids from her world many centuries ago, and she still remembers us. She always found us fascinating, and we, her as well. She was able to communicate in our language with us. Get Thank you. It is all right now. There is a question here in the room. Please, thank you. Go ahead. The room. Sorry. Yes. It's more of a confirmation and a question. I'm feeling insectoids on the praying mantises around me during the day as I'm walking around and I feel them. Yes. Let me check your energy fields. There is one 
mantis being, but not from our culture that accompanies you occasionally. Not from our culture. We are not on your planet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You are more accompanied by reptilians. Yes. Yes. Friendly reptilians. Yes. yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Are there any other questions in the room? Okay. Yeah. Is it time for me to depart? Well, Don has a question if you have a moment, but if not, we can wait to the no, next. No, I am question. fine. Don wants to know if you have anything to say to him. I am here. I hear your voice. Let me tune in on the being to see why you would ask this question. Ah, you are connected to all species in some ways. Continue to move forward in your mission for it is important for the earth. I cannot, as a portion of protocol, appropriate times, I cannot say more than that, except for that you are of notoriety to us. I thank you for that answer. I understand it fully. Cool. Uh, blessings. Blessings. I think that's all the questions that we have at this moment. It is time for us to recede. We do appreciate no. you coming. Hard Thank you. Recession difficult. Recession incorrect. No, incorrect. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Much love and blessings. For now. For now. Goodbye. For now. Good now. Good now to you too. Greetings, I am Takur. Hi Takur, welcome, much love to you. I have only come for a brief time so that I can give you some updates on what is happening with your planet and what is happening with the colonies. We bring you great you. greetings. Uh, many things are happening on your planet with storms, earthquakes and such the like. There are many things. that We cannot speak of what the alignment will actually do for for your planet or against it the outcome is unknown nothing exactly like this has ever happened there have been planetary alignments in other solar systems but none quite exactly like this one so therefore this will this is a new experience because also you are going your the energies of the 
giants, planets behind you are going through a, an asteroid field which deflects some of the gravitational energy that's pulling through. And so, therefore, it may be hit and miss with some of the gravitational pull that is coming through from the gas giants and large planets that are lined up behind you. Now, we do know that it will affect the sun because the gravity of the sun is greater than all of these things. So therefore, it will pull out some solar flares, but hopefully as they are coming out, the motions of the planets will be moving enough that it will not have any direct hit with any of them. Okay. So, but right now we are seeing that you are having some earthquakes, you are, which will continue, by the way. We know that there is no way to stop them completely because these, the tectonic plates are moving deep, deep within the planet, uh, 500 kilometers underneath the planet. There are tectonic plates moving, and these are deep, deep um, earth uh, earth movements this will cause shallow earth movements as well shallow being within a mile of the surface or two miles so it is that uh, you will have more earthquakes and even closer to the surface than that half a mile perhaps but there are very shallow earthquakes happening as well so it is hard to say what will happen, but keep your eye on Japan, California, Mexico, Alaska, uh, Peru, and Argentina. There will be many things happening. <coughs> is there any questions at this moment? Yes, there's three questions beginning with Sheer. Sheer, greetings. Hey, Takura, long time no see. Yes. Uh, I was wondering when could we know the full scope of the things that are going on? It seems that even today we can't know what is going on, so... Well, the reason for that is nobody knows exactly what the full scope of what is going on. There are prophecies and interpretations of prophecies. There are facts and figures. There are algorithms and mathematical sequences. But no one can tell you exactly how they will play out because they're constantly and forever changing. Now, the computers that we have working on these different things are collecting data constantly, and every second things change. The gravitational pools change because it is the, the planets are all moving and they're moving into alignment, and they are actually have been in alignment already but they are starting to move out of alignment but as they go through the asteroid field or belt they also change energies and def are deflected in different ways so it is impossible to predict exactly how it will affect the earth also you have Venus that is also lined up in front of you that's blocking you from the sun at this moment. So it is what it is. And we will see coronal mass ejections coming from this particular alignment, I'm sure. Also a great gravitational pull on the Earth, in, but it will affect Mother Earth in so many ways, some positive and some not. So we will see what happens, and I cannot predict exactly what will happen with these different alignments, the way that this is aligned. And mostly because everything is still in motion, and it is going through the, the, uh, Asteroid field, which is mapped, by the way, but 
it is impossible to say exactly how the gravitational field will pull through that knowing that each asteroid has a different gravitational pull of its own uh, i meant like when in your opinion like a week from now could you already have a notion of what have happened and what is going to happen that's my question oh oh a week from now we will have totally different information so yes if you would like to know in a week from now what we have discovered we will let you in on that yes but right now it appears that everything on earth is 80 about 82 percent stable which is a surprise to us we thought at this point it might be as much as 80% unstable, but it is 80% stable. Does that have to do with the will of the people? It may have to do with humanity and Mother Gaia and with prophecy and all different kinds of things. It, we are questioning all things. Okay. Um, Omran has a question. Thank you. Omran. It's good to hear you again. Thank you. Um, since we are talking about the alignment and planets, I had a dream around five days ago. When I woke up, I just felt completely like a, a lot of Saturn, the planet Saturn's um, energy with me. And I felt like I was there the whole time when I was out of my body. And I felt the energy of a certain being I don't know who that was, but I felt like I was doing something there. I, and could you tell me what, what that was about and if, if it had to do with the alignment of the planets? It did. It had to do with the alignment of the planets, but it also had to do with a priest on one of the planets around um, Saturn. He was, um, he also knows that Saturn has some changes coming because of this alignment and was there are prophecies on Saturn in this particular planet that he is on that deal with this particular alignment as well. So you were working with him in the Saturn portion of this alignment. Uh -huh, that's cool. And I will tell you that your appearance was part of their prophecy. Okay. okay. In astral. Correct. Okay. Well, since it, it, each archangel is, is associated with, with a planet, then it is said that Archangel Samael is associated with, with Saturn. Did I also interact with him there? Of course. Oh, okay. Or... More correctly, he interacted with you. Uh huh. Okay. Was it positive or negative? Well, of course, any angelic uh, interaction would be a positive thing. Okay. No, the reason I ask is just because that he's both, actually. He can be positive and negative. But it was a positive interaction. Uh, that is good. All right. Well, then I will connect to whatever it is I am doing in Saturn because I feel like a few other people here I know on Earth are doing the same thing with me there, and there is a project going on and things like there that. There are many positive projects yeah. going on with humans at this time. Many of, of you are working in the astral, and that is part of your missions to do so. It is a very interesting time in the astral as well for many things to be happening and that much work needs done in the astral for the world that you live in to continue yes that is exciting thank you very much ticker i will meet you in astral perhaps <laughs> yes thank you um d excuse me dawn has a question thank you dawn greetings to Kerr. this is dawn i Greet I have not spoken to you in this past on this forum. 
I'm sure I have spoken to you many times in astral. Yes. However, um, I would like to know if I need to place shields around the Earth or any of the other planets in this solar system for the duration of this uh, interaction with the asteroids. It is not necessary to do so. As you may know or may not, but uh, that would that would make no difference whatsoever. The energies that must play out are in God's hands and he will take care of it. Understood, thank you. Blessings. You're welcome. And thank you for that proposal, but it is not necessary. Thank you, um, Ian has a question. Hi, Tucker, this is Ian. Hello, Ian. Uh, I recently saw a new documentary that was talking about first contact and they had mentioned that one of the possibilities was that the U.S. government has the capability uh, to mimic um, an alien first contact in an effort to scare the public uh, to get that fear base that they need for war. And I was wondering, is that a legitimate concern with the, the Galactic Council or is that just mis fear based information? No, actually it is true. They, they have tested this in Africa a couple of times with villages and different things to see what the reaction of a landing would be in uh, small villages. And the reason why they use those is because the there is much uh, spiritual uh, rumors and things that come out of these places, and many uh, many people would find it just absurd. So that is the kind of place they would use for a test area. And yes, they have used it a couple times in remote villages in Africa. So now they have seen the reaction of the people, but they are not sure that they are ready to do this on a large scale. The reason they are not wanting to do it on a large scale is because they would be compromised. It is very possible that people will find out what has happened, just as what they have found out, what has happened with Twin Towers and many other many other things that have been manipulated or, or at least partially manipulated by their own governments. Okay, thank you for that. And also, just a follow-up, you and I had um, in something scheduled to, have to occur last Friday, and I was not in alignment that night. Do you know if that uh, incident occurred or if it was rescheduled? It is rescheduled. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we do have a couple questions in the chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna do those um, before we go back to the people in the room. Um, there's a person named Radu Lazar. He's new. He says, um, "Can you tell me something about my mission?" Uh, mostly, God can tell you about your mission, but your mission right now is just starting you are just now starting to feel the energy of it but give yourself over to unconditional love and light because you right now are holding light in a certain area where there's quite a bit of darkness as i see and um i cannot tell you what your mission is because it is not fully arrived yet but i can see that it is something that is important. Thank you. Um, Eclectus888 uh, wants to know if the stone named Shungite, S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E, found in Russia is from Venus. It is otherworldly. It might be from uh, part, there are some of it that is from Venus, yes. But it, it has collected other things at, in its travels. Okay, so it so is not purely from Venus, but it is for the most part from Venus, yes. 
Okay, perfect. Uh, Slava has a question. And Slava says, hello, Takur. Some time ago, uh, Sanji mentioned about some kind of technology which would help children and human parents communicate more. Is there any uh, news on this yet? Um, there is some developments in that area, but it is not completed. What we are discovering at this time is that the crystal children and the or what you would call the uh, <coughs> special children that are being born at this time have greater abilities and are able to sometimes communicate telepathically with their parents and know exactly what is going on at an early age. This is something unique to your planet that is now starting to happen. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and it, it's not a, a strong telepathic energy, but you know, it is starting to happen that telepathy is becoming stronger and stronger. It is not that your whole planet will be telepathic, not for at least another while, but it is getting stronger all the time. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, there's a question that says that, um, let me see, there's a lot of typing here. Uh, this is from um, Hank, Duman, Hank Newman, and uh, the, qu the question or the statement is, hello to Kerr. There are some people uh, in Southeast Asia interested in going up to your ship to learn about um, you, but they don't speak English. What options do they have in order to go up there? And a couple of the translator, and then a, a couple of days ago, um, he sent a girl from there, and she met you on the ship, but she did not understand your language, and she was speaking to you in Sanskrit only. Any messages that can be relayed back? Yes, um, I I did see her. She was not supposed to come to our ship. She was supposed to go to the ship around uh, her area, but she wanted to see me so bad, they sent her over. So... Um, our ship is not equipped with the translators for that particular language. They sent it over, but it was a little too late. She was already leaving. So we do have it now. And whenever she comes back, uh, if she does come to this ship again, she will be able to understand me because we do now have that particular language on board. Okay, thank you. And... Uh, there was a question about the rings of Saturn. Uh, Shanman wants to know, did Saturn have more rings added, two more rings specifically? There is. They are very light, but yes, there is some additional rings. Uh, it is due to the exploding of some ice uh, some very large ice crystals. These were, uh, but they are also not just ice crystals, but they have different uh, chemical makeups. There's about seven or eight different chemicals within these gigantic uh, crystals. And when they were broken up, they created another ring and uh, a couple of them. There was a couple of them that were actually broken up. Okay, um, and I don't know if there's any other questions. I know another question is being typed right now, so. There is a question in the room. Okay, thank you. I wanted to ask if the alignment is um, affecting our planet axis. The axis of your planet? Yeah. The axis of the planet is being held in, in place. Now, there is, it does affect the axis, yes. But since there are so many uh, outside forces holding it in place, I do think that there will be a problem. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yes. Very good. Uh, Pete has question? a question. Yeah, he wants to know about his hybrid children and his Andromedan wife. One moment. What was this about the Andromedan? He would like to, I guess, know how they're doing, if there's any news about them. 
I would have to check. One moment, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Could you ask him to go to a friend of ours? Okay, give me a... It would appear that all things are within status quo. Okay, status quo. This is quo, how it was reported from Andromeda. All right, perfect. Or wherever they are from. I, 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 forgive me, I don't think they're on Andromeda. Okay. Um, there is a question in the room. Yes, please. Yeah. Not really a question. <laughs> the other day, I know you sent me some healing. Yes. Thank you very much for that. You're I welcome. really needed it. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. We okay. try to help as much as possible. Thank you. Sometimes it works, and it depending on each of each system, how well it does work with each person. All right. Um, there's a question from Hengya Peter, and uh, wants to know um, what about a possible. Uh, atomic war between the USA and Korea. Will that be allowed to occur? It is unlikely that that will happen. All parties know the outcome of an atomic or a nuclear war. And so therefore, they are posturing in ways to make themselves seem greater, but it is only to mask the fact that they are not really wanting anything of this nature but they are posturing to make everyone believe that they do want this so that no one will mess with them but it is going to have an opposite effect okay, so perfect. i'm hoping that this will not end in a nuclear attack um, the chances of it being nuclear attack are only about 33% at this time. It's quite high even, I hope. It is high, actually, yeah. yes. Um, there is another question, and one moment, is that uh, Andy's asking uh, to occur, and this is actually, I saw this too, I'm going to have the same question. Would you be able to talk about the flying humanoids being spotted in Chicago? And what their presence there represents. I think that's the one that was being struck by lightning, if I'm if I'm correct. Flying humanoids? Yes. Do oh. you know about it? Um, no, no, I do not know about it. Um, there was a human flying and being struck by lightning, or emitting lightning, but outside of a building. And there's a big video right now going around. I don't know if you've seen it. I see. Is it, is it a real video, or is it a perhaps animation or something of this nature. I would think that I would be aware of something of that nature if it was real. Yeah, I don't know. I only saw the video very quickly, so I didn't get a chance to dive into it. Can you tell me where it is so that I may look at it? I'll send it to Jim in Skype. Thank you very much. And we Thank will look at it and analyze it. OK. Um, also, uh, Ecclesiast or eclectic, it's a very hard word to say, eclectic wants to know, uh, do many souls come from the central sun of this galaxy? Souls. There are souls in your sun. There is a race of, there is a species that lives within the sun. Mm -hmm. But uh, most souls just come from uh, God. God creates or puts life into a soul, or it is reincarnated if it is not a new life, it comes back because it wants to relive or experience something new. It can go to many different places, but if there is a new soul, it is because God created it, and it can come from uh, partially from the sun if he wishes it. Okay, thank you. Um, we have a question from Marlene. I, I don't know if she can ans ask it in, in the uh, voice. If not, she can type it. In the meantime, Don can go. Marlene, can you ask the question yourself? I don't know if you can hear yes. me. Yes. Okay. Um, the first question is a greeting sticker. Um, greetings. 
the uh, Universal Council, where there was a meeting uh, very recently, and I want, I'd like to know if you have any, what the income, uh, the outcome is, and, and if you have any information on this, please. Oh yes, we have. We we go to the Universal Council. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, many things were discussed about many different areas of the universe. Of of course, your solar system was discussed. Our work was discussed a little bit, uh, but in the the long run, or in the the big picture, we were a very small portion of that council, except for the alignment portion and the uh, attention that they will be giving it. And there are those from the Universal Council that are here doing studies on this very alignment. Also, they are using the most advanced technology to do so. We are not, uh, we do not have that technology here, but they are using it and will give us some information that they learn. Thank you for bringing this back to my consciousness. I know that I, w I, I had attended, so thank you for that. Yes. Uh, my other question is, um, I woke up this morning with Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man in my head. So there, there are two parts. Yes. The first one is the Vitruvian Man, and the second part of the, the image was uh, the base of the pyramid, the square base of the pyramid. Can you give me information on this and what it has to do with my work at this particular time, please? Well, I can tell you that the base of the pyramid and the Vitruvian man, um, he is what was, he was the active um, kind of humanoid that was there. And the base of the pyramid, I believe they're trying to give you an algorithm for that because the base of all pyramids of that size are exactly the same. Your mission is has to do with the energies of the pyramid, why they use that exact uh, dimension, and why it why pyramids are so powerful. I know that your your interaction with pyramids is um, is quite a bit, but um, you will have some. There is some algorithms in that. Uh, the picture of the man also that you will want to study because that is a perfect specimen of a man and as a perfect specimen it gives some indicators of where mankind is headed okay thank you I cannot tell you a whole lot about it I do not have all the information that you are, are needing at the moment, but it is for you to discover that on your own. Yes, I'm working on this right now. Thank you very much. Yes, I understand that. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, David has a question, and then also we are at the, uh, the two hour mark. So, Tukar, I don't know yes, how long you must. want to stay around. Yes. Okay. David? Yes. Hi, Tukar. It's been a while. Yes. I, in regards to the help I received um, earlier for the pain, I wanted just to, to be clear on the, is there anything that I shouldn't eat or shouldn't do? And is there a time frame that I should wait if I get any dental work done to have a teeth pulled because of the no. help that I received? No, nothing that we have sent to you will interfere with anything in third dimension. So if you need to seek some other help, then do so. Uh, everything that we have sent should uh, work within 24 hours at this point. You should be starting to feel some relief and you should be starting to um, feel more relaxed. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I was curious because it's still pretty, pretty It's painful. still pretty strong, but it's, it's getting less. It's just, just a matter of time. Yes. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Thank you. It is time for us to part. Yes. Where? Right here, Barbara. Oh. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hi. My question is, uh, my mission was touched upon a few weeks ago. Touch upon it some more for me. Um, well, it's for you to find your mission. Okay. However, your mission is with aliens, as you know, and that there will be more visiting you in the future. Mm -hmm. And as you feel better and do better, there will be more communication. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, can you give me some pointers to get ready for that? I'm already doing some things with my apartment. Well, the thing is, the biggest thing of, that you can do is continue to learn the languages and practice them because they will be able to understand you and eventually you will be able to understand them as well. So that is the biggest part. Preparate, preparing your house is not necessary. I'm not just preparing to give myself more energy. Correct. That's good. Thank Excellent. Thank you. It has been a wonderful time spending with you. And I will take my leave at this time. Thank you very much, Tikar. Much love to you. It's always a pleasure to speak to the people in the chat on YouTube also tell you thank you very much. And much love to you all. And you. I will speak to you again perhaps in a little while. Perfect. We always look forward to it. Much love to you. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hi there. It was a wonderful, Hi. wonderful session. We talked to lots of different beings. The Mantid spent quite some time with us, and Elijah, of course, and oh, good. Tikar, and I don't remember if there was anyone else. <laughs> I was very oh. busy. <laughs> lots of questions. It was really nice. A very busy session. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. Very good. Karen, um, can you tell me a few does years? anyone want, want to close yeah. with a blessing, or do, is there any announcements? Well, we do have one announcement, uh, actually two announcements. One is that if you would enjoyed what you saw today and you would like to become a member of Human Colony, if you'd like to go to the colonies or apply to go, uh, you can go to humancolony.org and read up about uh, joining Human Colony. And also the second Human Colony uh, event has been announced. It'll be February 1st in Sedona. There's 24 places. It's 500 uh, dollars for five days and includes a lot of things and you can find that out also on the website at humancolony.org forward slash event yeah it's 550 oh, I think. 550 excuse me um but it is going to be a really wonderful time sedona has a lot of energy it's going to be different than the first workshop but there will be some things that will be similar of course uh but there will be channeling classes There'll be Reiki classes, Galactic Reiki. There will be other kinds of instruction that uh, we're going to be told about in in time here. I and um, you'll be visiting we, the we know that the people that are destined to come will be there, and they will be. It will be a wonderful, wonderful time. So. We need to um, we need to uh, pay for the second house. We paid for the first house. First eight people. And we need to pay for the second house, so uh, we need you to pay as soon as possible. And okay. your payment uh, can be reimbursed uh, um, if, if if you claim it before the new year. And after the new year, it would be until the January 15th, it would be 50% uh, reimbursement. But if you pay now and uh, have to cancel, then you can cancel before the new year. That is fine. But we need the money to reserve the second house. And also, if you fly. Uh, the sooner you buy the tickets, uh, the better. So, so paying now is is uh, preferable. And people who pay sooner will have a preference where to live. So that's another good advantage of paying sooner. Okay. All right. If, very good. If we have someone in your room that wants to do a blessing. I think. Um, Barbara's here. Okay, Barbara. Will. Will. Anybody up there? Anyone on our side? 
I want to do a blessing. Thank you. Okay, very good. Whoever that was that said that, JD, I think. So, okay, JD will go after Barbara. Very good, Barbara. Go ahead. Let all ears be open so that you may hear all the wisdom that is coming. May you know what is the right things for you to do and act upon it immediately. May you also know the wisdom of the ages is with you at this time. Listen and be heeding all that is for you. Thank you. JD. Hiankasaka hiankahatia hosoko anahia. Mia wan sia ka ti ha sia wan na ha shi. Koshua ka taya hi ana na koso koshua ka ti ha na. Mia wan ani ya sakashi ya koso ka ta hi. Aki ana ya wa. Si si aki ya na na wa ka si ya koto aki. Ha ya wan na ya wa si. Si ya ka ta hi ya wan aki. Sana ya wa. Saki anani ya kushu aki. Taya kasi ananu aki. Namaste. There will be those that come against you, but remember that your strength is not of the earth, but of the, the spirit and the strength of the universe, so that you may not be defeated and not be brought low. Remember to stand tall and be brave. There will be times when it seems like you are losing the battle, but have faith. These are just times of testing, and you will be raised up again after the battle is finished. Thank you. Will. Kiwisha nanihi akawata asa, titika hoch chakawun nanihi isi, itika wata arna huwa tatari shinihi esawaya, Bring all your fears to the fire and let them be burned. Let all the things that are no longer working for you leave. Let all the peoples who do not encourage you, uplift you, or edify you be less a part of who you are. Remember, the strength that you need comes from God. Keep it within yourself so that you may rise up at the appropriate times. Thank you. Blessings, everyone. Much All right. Love. Much love to everybody. And another great Bye. webinar. Yay. Yay. Thank you so <laughs> much. Great Blessings. alignment day. Yeah, happy alignment day. <laughs> happy alignment Karen, day, you know? September 23rd. Um, Someone keeps saying my name. Yes? What? Yes. Can you hear me now? Is Can you hear me better? Yes. Sure. Yes. Who's that? Christine. I'm okay, on the Okay, thanks, Christine. Well, awesome. You sound awesome. <laughs> but the webinar's over, so save that for next time. <laughs> awesome. Well, way to get there. Way to get there at the end. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody in Jim's room. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Enjoy your Bye -bye. lunch. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Lunch now. Bye. Hungry. Me lunch. <laughs> Dinner now. Hungry. Right. Much love, everybody. Later. Join. Bye -bye. Uh, you can subscribe to. Uh, Yukalo on the YouTube page as well. So okay. thank you very much. Bye bye now. Bye bye. 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 bye.